Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a world where the impossible becomes possible. A world where transportation is no longer just a means of getting from point A to point B, but an experience that transcends time and space. Today, we shall embark on a journey that will take us through the rise, fall, and resurrection of one of the most disruptive companies in modern history, Uber. This is not just a story about a ride-hailing app. It's a story about innovation, ambition, and the human spirit. It's a story about how a small idea can turn into a global phenomenon, and how even the mightiest giants can fall. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a ride like no other. In 2008, two friends, Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp, attended a tech conference in Paris. Unable to find a taxi, they came up with the idea of creating an app that would connect riders with drivers. Uber was born. Initially launched as a luxury service for the wealthy, Uber quickly expanded to include more affordable options. The company's disruptive business model, which allowed anyone with a car to become a driver, proved to be hugely popular and enabled Uber to grow rapidly. Travis Kalanick's leadership style was a double-edged sword. On one hand, he had an incredible ability to inspire his team and push them to achieve great things. He was a visionary who saw the potential in Uber long before anyone else did and he was relentless in his pursuit of success. However, Kalonic's leadership style also had a darker side. He was known for his aggressive and confrontational approach, which often rubbed people the wrong way. This led to a toxic company culture where employees were afraid to speak up or challenge his authority. Ultimately, this would prove to be his downfall. The battle for control of Uber began in earnest when major investors started to push back against the leadership style of Travis Kalonic. They were concerned that his aggressive tactics were hurting the company's image and damaging its relationships with regulators and customers alike. Kalonic, however, refused to back down. He saw himself as a visionary leader who was willing to take risks and make bold moves in order to grow the business. This led to a power struggle between Kalonic and his investors, with both sides digging in and refusing to compromise. Following Travis Kalonic's resignation, Uber found itself in a state of turmoil. The company was facing multiple lawsuits, declining user trust, and increasing competition from rivals such as Lyft. In an effort to restore stability, Uber's board appointed Dara Khosraushahi as the new CEO. Khosraushahi immediately set out to change the company culture and repair relationships with regulators and drivers. He implemented new policies and initiatives aimed at improving driver pay and passenger safety, and worked to rebuild trust with stakeholders. Under his leadership, Uber has made significant progress towards regaining stability and restoring its reputation. In conclusion, the rise and fall of Uber under the leadership of Travis Kalanick is a cautionary tale of unchecked ambition and the consequences that follow when a leader prioritizes growth over ethics. From its humble beginnings as a ride-sharing app to its global dominance, Uber's story is one of both innovation and controversy. While the company has made efforts to right its wrongs and move forward, it remains to be seen whether Uber can regain the trust of its users and investors. As we look to the future, it is important to consider the impact that companies like Uber have on our society and to ask ourselves what kind of world we want to live in. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.